happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because born pretty reached out to me and wanted me to review some more of their products and y'all when they said they wanted to send me this kit i was over the moon for it so let's hop into what they sent me so the first thing that they sent me y'all is the all-in-one quick building nail tips and glue set now y'all know me every single set i do i pretty much do this method where i use a nail glue i apply a tip and that's how i do my nails like that's my go-to that's my mo so i'm super excited to be trying the one from born pretty um i actually saw um i am biscuit so shout out to you darling i saw i am biscuit do a bomb set of like these beautiful matte nails that have this black background and this cool foil. I saw her review that with this kit and I had my eyes on it ever since then. So I'm super excited that they uh, wanted to send it to me so that I could review it. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna hop right on into this. Let me unbox this. Woo, I'm excited. Yes, Lord Jesus. Like this is literally how I do every single set. So I'm excited to give this a go. All right, so. Let's see what all comes in the box. Alrighty. So, let's see here. Alright, got a lot of goodies in here. It's so cool how much stuff they can fit in these little tiny boxes, you know? So, the first thing you get here is a nail file. Okay, I'm assuming this is like a 180, 100 grit nail file. Most kits come with this, so you get that. Looks like you get some instructions here. They're in another language. Oh, there we go. There's English. So that's just the LED lamp and oh, this LED lamp is eight watts. So that's pretty strong. Most of them I believe are only six watts. You get some nail tip guides. So this is really helpful for those who struggle with like doing French tip manicures, okay? And then let's see, I guess this is, oh, this is a chrome powder, I believe. That's pretty cool. So I don't think I've ever actually played around with chrome powders. So you get that. Let's see how this looks. Wow, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Wow. Maybe I'll try my hand at um, chrome powder today, you guys. Let's see what that looks like. I feel like chrome powders, though, they kind of remind me of eyeshadow pigments. So that's what the chrome powder... Oh, hold on, let me put this back on here. I'm going to make a mess, y'all. <laughs> but that's what the chrome powder looks like. Again, I feel like chrome powders kind of remind me of like eyeshadow. So that's kind of what it looks like swatched on my skin and what it looks like swatched on my hand. And then you get like a little applicator to put the chrome powder on. And then the last two things that come in the kit, of course, are the lamp and the, oh no, 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 you get some tips too. Okay, we got a couple, okay, we got a lot of stuff here. So that's everything in the box here. So let's take a look at the lamp. You get your cord, of course, okay. And then you get the mini LED lamp here. Um, this is a pretty standard lamp. Um, I have, I've reviewed a few kits that have this lamp. The gelling kit has this lamp as well as the Beatles kit has this lamp. So I actually really do enjoy using this particular lamp. So I'm happy to have another one of these. And then we also have this glue. So this is the Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue for nail tips. And it is 15 ml. Okay, and I was looking to see if it says what the six and one is for. And it does not. It doesn't really say what the six and one is for, but I know that people use it for blooming gel, people use it to apply the nail tips, people use it for marbling, rhinestone adhesive, builder gel, a couple of other things. I wonder what, what six is though, but yeah, let's see what this is looking like here. Wow. This is a very, very thick consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that here. That's a very, very thick consistency. Yeah, it's a really slow drop here. Mm, I think I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna like it a lot. So yeah, this looks like a really good nail glue. And then in regards to nail tips, it looks like they sent me over Okay, so yeah, they, okay, this is really cool. Wow, so you get a lot of different types of nail tips with this. Uh-huh, okay. You get 
a little bit of everything, huh? Okay, so we got like some square nail tips here. Okay. So we got like these type of nail tips. They're kind of like square. Okay. But it looks like you only get enough to do like one set of each one though. I think you get like 20 pieces per little baggie, but it's cool just to have so many different options. Here is um, the long coffin shaped ones, and that's pretty much like the shape I have on here. Wow, you guys, you get a lot of different types of nail tips here. That's pretty cool. So you get like a kind of a long square, just regular tip. You get the extra, extra, extra long tip here. That's like, I think this is like almost 2X. I think this is 2X, just the regular nail tip. And these are the square ones. You get the, let me see here. I think this is 3X and this is like 2X. And that's just the tip so far. This is like another kind of square tip, it's slightly rounded. This is like a coffin tip, okay? You also get another coffin tip, which is a little bit shorter. You get extra, extra long, full cover coffin now. Now we're on to full cover tips. You get just a regular long coffin, which is what I have on my nails now. You'll get, I guess it's kind of ballerina. I don't know the difference between coffin and ballerina. And then you also get kind of like a squoval type tip here. So you get a lot of different tips. You get, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Literally you get 10 different types of tips in here. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing to have so many different options. I mean, it's hard to believe all that came in this little tiny box. So yeah, you get all of those different tips here. So I'll have to go through each one and see um, which one I want to put on. And so yeah, that is the actual kit itself, y'all. And then they also sent over some polishes, okay? So these are the polishes that they sent over. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. All right, cool, so these are all the colors here. This looks so pretty. Take them all out of the packaging. So six different colors here. Let's take a look at all the colors that come here. I do like the black packaging with the nice simple gold trim. And also like too that on the packaging you can kind of see through and actually see the color of the polishes. Um, these are 10 ml bottles here. And so let's take a look at all the colors here. So the first color is the BP. MC06, okay. And ooh, that's a nice like pastel purple color. That's really pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, so that's the first color here. The next color we have here is BP MC02. And that's this, wow, look at that. That's this beautiful neon green. Holy smokes, this is beautiful. Look at that, y'all. That is a beautiful green. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that's that color. Next we have BPMC05. Okay. And that is, it looks like it's going to be a nice blue color. Man, that's pretty. Yeah, it's like this beautiful, um, kind of, I don't even, kind of sort of aqua blue, borderline turquoise. That's really pretty. Next we have BPMC04, okay. Looks like a nice vibrant pink color here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, look at that. Really beautiful, nice vibrant pink. Wow, I'm really liking the colors in this collection, okay. Um, the next color we have here is uh, BPMC03, okay. And this looks like a nice, almost burnt orange color. Nope, it's a really bright, beautiful neon color. Yeah, yeah, looking at it through the window did not do it justice there. Look at that beautiful, bright, vibrant orange color here. And yeah, that's absolutely stunning. But y'all see how in the bottle it doesn't really look like that? That's really pretty though. And then the last color here looks like we have another green color and that's BPMC1, okay. And that's what it looks like here. Another nice, beautiful green color. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, these greens are pretty. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and swatch them all in order. I do have my swatch sticks here ready to go. So I'm gonna go in with the first color here, okay? Right. And that is the BPMC01. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, that is a really pretty green. 
It's a nice neon green, very vibrant, very pretty. It looks similar to that glow in the dark green that they sent me. So yeah, I like this a lot. That's really pretty. So that's just one coat of coverage, y'all. And this kind of looks like it's like a jelly color. But like I mentioned in my last video, y'all, the jelly colors are very opaque, you know? Born Pretty has some really great jelly colors because they're super opaque. So the next color is the BPMC02. And this is more of a, a kind of a brighter, lighter, vibrant green. Yeah, this stuff is really pretty, y'all. Wow. Yeah, they got some really nice products, though. I like these. I mean, it's the one coat coverage for me, though. I just, yeah, I'm impressed at how quickly you get the coverage on there. A little goes a long way. We also got BPMC03, okay? So that's that nice, beautiful orange color. Again, that one coat coverage, y'all. I feel like for these, like, jelly kind of colors, I mean, these swatch so well from One Pretty. I mean, really, though. It's opaque for jelly. It really is. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay. And the next color we have here is the BPMC04. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Oh, this is really pretty. Yeah, these colors are really nice and very opaque. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. And the next color we have here is the BPMC05. Okay. Man, that is a really pretty blue. I like that blue a lot. Yeah, I might have to go in the set today. That's nice. Okay. Again, one coat of coverage, y'all. Very, very pretty. And the last color that's in this collection is the BPMC06, which is just really pretty purpley, kind of lavender looking color. Really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this whole collection, y'all. I like this. I'm really liking this. That is really pretty, so. That's one coat of the MC06. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat of these polishes off camera and I'll be right back. So as I was doing my second swatches, my little one woke up. And she's looking like she wants to get into everything. Huh. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wanna get your hands done? Yeah, yeah. You wanna get your nails done? Yes? Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah? Okay, all right. Okay, so now that my little one is occupied, okay, I'm gonna show you all what the swatches look like after two coats and with a top coat on it. So this is what the MBMC01 looks like. Really beautiful green, really nice color. The MBMC02 looks like. It's a really nice, like I said, neon light green color. BPMC03 color looks like. This is like a jelly orange color here. Um, it's really pretty, uh, but I think if you wanted it to be more opaque, you'd have to go in and add more layers. You can see, you can still see the nail through there. So you wanna add as many layers as you'd want to build up the opacity, but it's a really beautiful orange color. Nice bright neon. Next one here is this gorgeous, kind of like a fuchsia pink almost color, but it's BPMC04. Yeah, it's giving me like fuchsia pink vibes. Very, very pretty. I like that a lot, okay. The next color here is the BPMC05, okay. And that's what that looks like, very gorgeous. Love this blue. It's like a light blue slash, it's kind of borderline teal blue, turquoise blue almost. More so teal, I think. And then the last one we have here is the BPMC06. That's what that looks like, that really beautiful, kind of light lavender, pinky looking, I mean, light lavender, purple looking color, okay? So yeah, you guys, these are all the colors. And these are the items from the Jelly Nail Tip Kit. Y'all know I'm super excited about this review because maybe I do this in every single video, okay? So I'm thinking I actually want to test the longevity of these products. So I'm going to go ahead and remove um, this set here and apply the tips using the glue gel. But I also think that um, I'm gonna do the same um, look on this hand as well. I actually got um, some friends visiting from out of town, so I won't actually have an opportunity to do my nails for at least the next week or so. So I wanna go ahead and have matching hands, y'all. So I'm gonna do one set on camera and then I'll probably do the other set 
off camera when I have time. But yeah, if you all are curious about these looks here, I am going to leave them linked down in the description box below. Um, this was a matte set that I did using a solid gel nail cream palette. And then this was my attempt at bitter gel nails. So I'll leave both of these looks linked down in the description box below. And yeah, y'all, I'll be right back once I figure out what design I want to do, okay? Now, I forgot to mention too that this is the neon gel polish set from Born Pretty. So it's like a lot of fluorescent colors. Um, here meaning that I think that if you put them under a black light then they will kind of glow I tried to test it to see if they glowed in the dark and they didn't so yeah y'all like I said I'm going to take these sets off and I'll be back all right happy people so I've decided what look I want to do and I'm going to recreate this beautiful set on this hand over here okay so these are the four colors I'm going to be going in with but first we have to apply our full cover tips um, I'm gonna leave this part in in real time because it really doesn't take me too long to do full cover tips that's typically my go-to when I'm doing my nails um, and so these are the full cover coffin tips that I picked from the kit I do have the mini LED lamp from Born Pretty as well and one of the first things you're going to want to do is go in and etch the inside of your tips so that um, it has a rough surface to adhere to. If you want longevity with your nail tips, it's important to etch the inside of the tips. So I'm going to go through and do that really quick. Okay, so all of the tips have been etched on the inside, so I'm just going to leave those sitting right here for now. Um, next what you'll want to do is prep your natural nails. I do have a full tutorial showing how you all prep your nails so um, I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to link the video down in the description box and over in the cards at up top. <laughs> Now, on this hand, I did not go in with the peel-off base coat because I want to test the longevity of this product. But on this hand, I am going in with the peel-off base coat because I do have a few other sets that I want to record. But um, I'm going to go in with the peel-off base coat. Skip this step if you want your nails to last. And I'm going to come back, like I said, with updates to let you all know how long the 6-in-1 glue works for more pretty. So yeah, next I'm going in with my favorite peel-off base coat. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and prepped my nails off camera. So. This time I did something a little bit different. I went in with a dehydrator and then I went in with a primer and then I applied my peel-off base coat. Um, that's to try to get a little bit more longevity out of my peel-off base coat. So we'll see how that works out. I'll come back, give you guys an update on that as well. So I do have my Born Pretty lamp here that came with the kit. Um, again, I got the four LED lights. I love using these type of lamps whenever I'm doing my full cover tips because it just makes life a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is go in with my nail tip that's been buffed out. I already sized them. I'm going to apply the 6-in-1 nail glue. Okay, so I'm excited to see how this kit holds up. I've tried a few different kits on my channel. Um, I've tried one from Jelen. I've tried one from Beatles. And now this, I believe, is my third one. Oh, I'll try one from Beatles, Jelen, and Double Dip slash Velavina. So I'm excited to try this one out to see how it holds up. First, you'll want to apply a generous amount inside the tip. It's kind of hard to gauge at first, but what I normally do is I'll do quick swipes on the area where I buffed out the nail. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'll go ahead and just swipe all that excess onto the inside. And typically that's enough for me to get a good adhesion or have enough coverage. So then what you want to do is take it, have it slightly at the cuticle. Sometimes I tuck it, sometimes I don't. And then you'll just press down until all of the glue goes to the end of the tip. And then go underneath, hold it in place, and cure. Typically I'll cure for about 10 to 15 seconds and that's just to get it to kind of get in place. And then from there I'll move on to the next tip. And then when I'm done with all of them, I'll cure underneath the LED lamp. So I'm gonna go through and just show you all how I apply all of the tips here. So that's how the first one looks applied. It's a nice beautiful application there. Small spillage on the side, that's stuff that's easy to clean up and it's nice and straight so yeah another thing I actually I didn't I forgot to do is it's good to turn the lamp on before you start the process so that it's already on and ready to go but I'm gonna move on to the next nail again you'll want to take your tip and go on the inside again where you've essentially etched out just kind of paint over that like you're painting your nail and then whatever's left on the brush I just take that and swipe it on the inside of the nail tip Again, that's typically enough for me to get the, the coverage that I need for the tip to adhere. So now I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to start at my cuticle area and then press down until all of the 
glue has made it to the tip of the nail and then I'm going to slide underneath the lamp, hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. This application method is my favorite way to apply my nail tips, to be quite frank with you all. I really enjoy using this method. It's just super easy and super quick, you know. You don't have to worry about shaving the nail, you don't have to worry about filing, buffing, any of that stuff. It's already done for you, you know, and then all you gotta do is worry about what design you wanna do. So, this is typically my go-to, in case you all haven't noticed <laughs> on my channel. Um, so yeah, that's what the second tip looks like applied, okay. And then I'm going to go with the next one. I'm leaving this in in real time as well, just so you guys can see how quick and easy this is for me to actually do. It normally takes me about five minutes to apply all of my tips. So again, I'll go in like I'm painting the nail where I etched it at. I'll take the excess off the brush, put that on the inside of the nail, turn my lamp on. Oops, turn my lamp on, flip it over, okay. I'm going to start at the cuticle, start at the cuticle and then allow that glue to just come to the end of the tip and then go underneath the lamp, like so. I'll stay under here for about 10, 15 seconds. What's nice about these lamps too is if you want to, I guess, get your other nails to kind of have a little bit more of a cure, you can kind of just put it underneath there. It holds about three, three of your nail tips under here. So I'm gonna hold that like that. And then that's all four done. And I'm gonna go in with the last one here. And this one you don't need as much glue for, so I'm just going to take a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to take a little bit at the tip, and that's typically enough for me to get coverage on the full nail here. So again, you want to go in at the tip, me at the cuticle area, you know, make sure the glue slides down, and then you go underneath the lamp. So just like that. All the tips are applied, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this underneath my big lamp um, for 60 seconds. I'm going to file, shape, and buff off camera, and I'll be back to go in with the design. Alright, so all of my nails have been file, shaped, and buffed. Now I'm going to go in with the colors um, that I mentioned earlier. Y'all, I'm really feeling how these polishes work, okay? They're very opaque and one coat coverage. Like, look at this. Look, look, look. wow. It's nice. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these. I mean, that's just nice coverage. You see that? One coat. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with this beautiful purple color here. And then I'm going to do this blue. This blue is also very stunning. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think the pink and the blue are probably my favorite from this collection. It's just absolutely beautiful. So which one of these colors from the collection are you all's favorite color? Because I think this this pink and this blue is given for me. Oh, ooh, but this green is pretty too though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds, and I'll be right back. So that's what one coat of coverage looks like, you guys. Absolutely love it. I really love how opaque these Born Pretty polishes are. So now I'm going to go in with coat number two to all the nails. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what the two coats of polish looks like. Next, I'm gonna go in and apply my cuticle bling. So on this hand, I actually did the lines first and then did the bling, but I think because the the um, I used the gel paint and because I used it, it kind of made the line stand up off the nail a little bit. And so some of my gems are kind of crooked and I don't want that to happen on this hand. Well, actually, I don't think it will. Actually. So I'm gonna go in with a different white um, on this hand. I'm gonna go in with my liner brush from Bella Vina Double Dip, and I'm just gonna draw some squiggly lines on all of the nails. Just to create a nice, simple design here. So it's gonna be really quick, really easy. I'm just gonna um, take a little bit on the brush here and then just kind of create a squiggly line, like so. Just a nice little swirl. And I'm gonna do that on all the nails. Yeah, for this design, I just wanted to keep the nail art really simple. I wanted the actual colors to to be the star of the show. So I'm just going in and creating a wave on all of the nails here. 
like so. Yeah, I really like these liner brushes too. Like they are just so nice, simple, and easy for nail art, you know? Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So that's been cured. Now I'm gonna go in with this six in one nail glue for more pretty. And I'm gonna apply just a small dot of that at the cuticle area. And I'm gonna apply this bling to all the cuticles. And I got the bling to kind of coordinate with the actual colors, which I thought was super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to all the nails. I'm gonna take a small dot of it and do it right at the cuticle where I want the bling to be. Like so. Okay. That's now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bling. And I'm just gonna apply it right here at the cuticle. That's perfect. Then I'm gonna use my mini LED lamp and just flash through the, the gem in place. Okay. And I'm gonna just cure it for about 10 seconds here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the rest of the hands. Just apply a nice little dot at the cuticle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure these for 60 seconds in my big lamp. All right, so these are how the nails are looking so far. I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat. And when applying top coat with rhinestones, you wanna make sure you just go around the rhinestone. You don't wanna to apply top coat to it because it will actually dull the shine. And y'all know me, I love me some lingtivity, so I wanna make sure my bling is glistening nice and right. So you want to make sure you go around the rhinestone so that you don't dull the bling. I mean, do y'all see it? Okay, so this is what it looks like with the top coat. I am going to go ahead and do my thumbs off camera, apply some cuticle oil, and y'all, we're going we gonna to get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes! All right, it is fun in the sun, Manny today, okay? This is the perfect summertime, Manny. All right, y'all, we have the nice bling here at the cuticle. Y'all know my sets ain't complete without a little bit of blingtivity in my life, okay? I'm absolutely loving how this set turned out. It's nice, it's cute, it's quick, it's simple, and it's fun. So yeah, y'all, loving how it turned out. This is the little bling that I used here at the cuticle. And then let me give you all my final thoughts on the Born Pretty nail tips and glue set along with these gel polishes, you guys. I must say I really enjoyed using all of these items. Um, I'm a big fan of the Gel X dupe uh, kits in general. And so this one did not disappoint at all. So again, like I said, on this hand, I did um, apply it um, without a peel off base coat. So I'm gonna keep this set on my hand for, at least this hand on for um, however long this set lasts. I'm gonna probably do an update on my Instagram. So if you all wanna follow me on Instagram, um, feel free to go do so. It's Rose Beauty 318. And so I'll give you all an update over there on how this set lasts. Maybe I'll do like a reel or maybe like I'll post it in my stories or something like that. So be on the lookout for an update on how this hand holds out. This one was done with peel off base coats. So um, once this pops off, I'll be doing another set on here. I got a couple more PR packages to do. Yeah, I really enjoyed these products. Um, this kit was super easy to use. Um, I did also use the six in one glue to apply the rhinestones. So we'll see how that holds up as well as using it as a rhinestone gel. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out pretty well. These gel polishes y'all are freaking amazing. I must say this stuff is one coat coverage. Um, so one of the things I really love and adore about Born Pretty products is that they're super affordable. So I am gonna leave the links to all of the products that I use down in the description box below. I do have a discount code with Born Pretty as well. It is Rose318. So I will leave that link down in the description box below. So if y'all are wanting to get your hands on some Born Pretty products, you can save even more using my discount code. And then any other products that I find that they may have that are on 
Amazon. I'll also link that down below as well. So yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this Manny. Let me know what y'all think down in the description box below. It feels really strange actually having a full set done. So I'm gonna just enjoy having my nails match for once in my life. Special thanks to Born Pretty for sending these products over for review. I had a ton of fun working with them and I'll be excited to create more sets with them. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!